In this example, they're asking us to write the equation of a hyperbola where they tell us a vertex and then two asymptotes. So if you think about the equation for a second, we have um, x minus a squared over a squared minus y minus k, that's a minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Okay, so um, assuming that... Um, that it's opening left and right. Did they tell us one way or the other? Ah, well, we'll be able to know when we see the vertex, or it could be that I might have to switch the, this and this, right? So we're gonna find, um, but one thing that we need is we need to know the center. Um, and so the center is gonna be where the two asymptotes intersect. So that may be, there's a few pieces to this puzzle. That may be the first one that I do. Um, so when I see this, I see that the y's cancel out very easily. And so then I get 10x is equal to 20. So the x coordinate is going to be 2. When I come back in and plug that in, this becomes what? Um, how much is it? A different color. That becomes 10. Let's subtract 10. I'm at 6. Okay, so then the y value is equal. That's a y value. The y value is equal to 1. Um, so I've got the point 2, 1. Um, as the center of my box, and then it says that the vertex is at 8, 1. So the vertex is over here. So that does tell me that this is the center of the box, and that's a vertex, and it's going to be opening something like this. Um, and is that all we need? Not quite. Okay, let's keep thinking about what we need. Um, okay, so now we know that the center, the center was at 2, 1, and we know... Um, that the, so we can, and we know it's opening left and right, so we can say x minus 2 squared um, minus, and then we have something, we're going to have something down here, um, minus y minus 1 squared divided by something is equal to 1. Um, and so then what we know is we're at 2, 1. We have this other um, vertex at 8, 1. And then they tell us that our asymptotes, um, are this. So we need to know what's our rise over our run so that we know how high up we go. Well, so if I just solve this for y, y is equal to negative, subtract this and then divide by 6, so negative 5, 6, x, and I don't even really care about the rest of it to be honest with you. All I want to know is the slope. So I'm going to go up 5, or in this case down 5, and then over 6. Um, to be honest, it didn't matter which one I picked because one of them is going to be a positive 5, 6, the other one's going to be a negative 5, 6. Um, so I'm just going to come up, one, two, three, oh, what am I doing? One, two, three, four, five. Um, yes, that puts me at six, and then I would come over to six. So from two to eight, sure enough, is six. So I'm moving six units this way, and I'm moving five units that way. So that means this becomes a 36, and this becomes a 25.